but a 500 watt 500 watt linear won't well if we try to go direct skip skip being on this particular frequency <laughs> and try to talk on 10 meters and you had 10 meters yeah that would work but nothing that i can do here is it, adding more power isn't going to stop me from keying up more than one repeater at a time though Uh, 40 to 60 over. November 2, Alpha Charlie Fox. Good evening to you, by the way. Yeah, good evening to you. I'm the owner of the repeater that uh, had for dining with your Connecticut. Unfortunately, we're just, uh, those, my repeater and their repeater are too close for band openings. We're only about 80, 85 miles away, so it never opens up to one without opening to the other. Yeah, Roger. Somebody told me that once before, and I, I don't know if it would have been you, but uh, I noticed it again today on um, on twenty nine six twenty with the um, uh, W two FLA. Um, I forget that the rest of the N two or whatever the the New York one, and there's another one uh, behind them, and they beat it most of the time. Um, but you can hear the heterodon. Somebody here in Fort Lauderdale actually was asking, what in the heck is that noise? And I'm like, do you notice it only comes up when you transmit on 10 meters? It doesn't happen when the guys in New York transmit on 440 or, or a VHF. It only happens when you key up. It's heterodon. It's two 10 meter links, two 10 meter repeaters coming up. Over. Yeah, so yours is, is KB1 CDI, is that, is that what it is? No, that's theirs. They have two call signs, KB1 CDI or KJ1Q, he's the owner. Those are the two call signs. One's the club, one's the owner. The call on this repeater is November 2, Alpha Charlie Fox, same as mine. Do you have Echo Link on yours as well? Yeah, they gave me a node number and they said it was KB1CI. I hadn't found it before. I don't know if I was looking for yours or looking for theirs, but I went looking and maybe I was looking for the wrong wrong thing. Maybe I was barking up the wrong tree, to coin a phrase. What's your call and where are you located? You sound good. You have some interesting background noise. Sounds like you're driving at like 65, 75 miles an hour with the window open. Yeah, it's uh, Kilo Alpha 4 Uniform Delta X-Ray, uh, and the handle is Allen Alpha Lima Alpha November. I'm in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, at the very north end of uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, uh, 20, 25 miles north of Miami, and I don't know how far south of West Palm Beach, but most people know where Fort Lauderdale is. <laughs> hi, hi. That's an air conditioner, and I refuse to turn it off, man. You know how hot it is, over. That thing is just rocking. Um, it, it's nailing 60 over a good portion of the time. When it drops, at least right now, it, it drops a lot of times only down to 40 over. <laughs> Imagine that. And then sometimes it dips to, to 20 or S9. <laughs> I don't think it's gone under S9. I'd like to hear it out in DX. My father lives in Florida. I don't plan on 
not visiting anytime soon, but uh, if I did, I would hope the band is open and I'd bring a 10 meter radio. Yeah, Roger. Well, I really enjoy this stuff. I've been DXing ever since I was a, a kid in high school. Um, back then, we used to put up parabolic antennas and DX TV stations. Just receive, not transmit, obviously, but uh, try to watch uh, channels further away that no one else could watch. Uh, further around in Florida and sometimes out of state. And uh, then into CB radio and then into ham radio and, and now back into HF as of the end of last year and into this year. So we've got HF and six meters now and having a heck of a time. And this stuff is really neat. Probably driving them nuts right now just talking to you. Yeah, if you want to try it, if you don't mind. Or if you could just, if, uh, well, you probably don't want to do that. You could put it on PL Town. Yeah, at the moment I can't do that. It's, uh, my decoder is not working, so I'm stuck in carrier squats. But I'll uh, shut off the transmitter and uh, see uh, what they say. I don't know those guys. I'm sure they're not too happy with me, but uh, I was here first. Either way, I'll, uh, I'll drop it. Go ahead, Alan, and pick it up with them. I'll uh, shut down on your final. N2ACF. Okay, N2ACF 73 is uh, KA4UDX. N2ACF shutting down the transmitter. Hey, you guys, I've probably been driving you nuts. It's KA4 UDX here in Fort Lauderdale. No problem there. No sweat. Yeah, I don't know if you could talk over me on the uh, the other bands uh, on your system or not, but uh, uh, N2ACF came back to me, so I actually found out who the other repeater is. He actually shut it down for us for a little bit so we could, uh, could chat. Wasn't that nice? So now I can figure out who, who who all I was talking to there. I had KJ1Q and I didn't catch the call sign of the other guy. Okay, Ron, nice to meet you. Yeah, imagine that. The guy came in there and he asked me how I was copying his repeater and I talked for a little bit and I hope we weren't bothering you guys at all. Um, I, I did think about that. Um, but he actually offered uh, here a couple minutes ago uh, uh, to shut it down for a little while and let us, uh, let us chat without having to fight the heterodyne over. Yeah, you know, I'm not running much here, uh, so the conditions must be really good. And your system must be really good as well. No doubt that helps a lot. Um, I'm only running 100 watts FM. I haven't even put my hand on the radio to see if it's getting warm. That's probably pretty continuous, too. The fan probably kicked in. Uh, came with TS480 SAT, and I'm into um, a Hustler 6BTV ground-mounted vertical with some radios on the ground and lots of water. Over. <laughs> 